Sean Pierce Johnson, guitarist for the band Cockeyed Optimus, and I'm here at Guitar Center to show you all the brand new Orange Rocker series of amplifiers, the Rocker 32 and the Rocker 15. So we're gonna start by taking a look at the Rocker 32. The Rocker 32 is essentially a two-channel amplifier with two 10-inch orange Voice of the World speakers, EL84 power tubes, and is designed for the pedal-hungry guitar player like myself. It has two channels, a very basic natural or clean channel, which just has one knob, volume. That's all you need. Handles distortion, modulation, fuzz, any kind of pedal that you can imagine with ease and uh, with great sound quality. And of course you have a dirty channel with gain, bass, middle, and treble for the EQ and volume. And you get that classic orange crunch that we all have come to know and love. The hallmark feature of this amplifier is in the power section. The 32 actually has two separate power amps that allow you to do stereo returns in the effects loop. So all those high powered delay and reverb machines that we have at our feet these days as guitar players, you are fully able to take advantage of that wide stereo field for the ultimate in depth of your effects. So let's start out by listening to this clean channel or the natural channel as Orange like to call it. It's the ultimate in simplicity. It has one knob for volume and really, that's all you need. Everything in the sound is incredibly well balanced. The lows and the bass are tight, the mids warm, buttery, and the highs just has the right amount of articulation so that you can really hear all the notes and the chords that you're playing. But that simplicity also lends to pedals very well and I have a couple of my favorites down on the floor. Uh, the first being a full tone OCD, which I like for its classic rock style crunch. we can go to the polar opposite of that for a scooped mid fuzz kind of sound from the Walrus Audio Red Distortion and uh, get a little heavy. Now it's time to check out what makes an orange an orange. It's that classic crunch that I have come to know and love so greatly over the years. <laughs> It's got everything about the orange sound that I love. Tight low end, the mids sit nicely, you get the great amount of cut, but it also sits in the mix really well, and the highs aren't harsh. There's a slight warmth to them that just no other amp really has. And with the EQ, you can really dial it in however you want. 
And the one thing that I really love about this particular amplifier is how well it reacts to the guitar and to the player. So what I'd like to do right now is throw on a little bit of reverb from Akili 30 milliseconds, kind of a nice plate style reverb that I like a lot, and a little analog delay from a Chase Bliss tonal recall. And I'm just gonna work my volume knobs, I'm gonna work my tone knobs so that you can get a feel for the kind of dynamic range that you can get out of just the one crunch sound. Now normally in the past, the Rocker series has been associated with that classic orange crunch, but for someone like me who's more of the modern rock school, I like something a little bit higher gain, but I think that the Rocker 32 keeps up quite nicely. So here's a little taste of some down-tuned riffage. <laughs> We've taken a listen to the basic sound of the amplifier, and it sounds great, but the real hallmark feature of the Rocker 32 is the stereo returns on the effects loop. So I've got a Pigtronics Echolution 2 on the floor, and that's gonna give us a really cool ping pong delay with a little bit of modulation on the repeats. It's nice and expansive, and you can really feel that stereo spread when you're listening in headphones, and you can even feel it in the room too. It's a very cool feeling to play with. Thank you. Now let's take a look at the little brother of the Rocker 32, the Rocker 15. It, like the 32, is a two-channel combo, but it has one 10-inch orange Voice of the World speaker and also has EL84 power tubes. You get the same awesome two-channel layout with the one volume knob natural channel and a dirty channel with gain, bass, mid, treble, and volume. You also have the ability to knock the amp down to half a watt to me, the coolest feature of the Rocker 15 is the built-in attenuator labeled Headroom and Bedroom. It allows you to take the full 15 watts down to seven and even further down to half a watt. 
It's a great feature if you need an amplifier to take to the gig, but also you need an amp that you can use at home in your bedroom or in your practice space, your home studio, and you can't get away with a huge amount of volume. Great for apartment dwellers or uh, cohabitators, if you like. We'll start by taking a listen to the clean channel. Again, you get a nice, well-balanced clean tone with no frequencies really overpowering the other. Nice and warm, great articulation. What more could you want in a clean tone? Now let's take a listen to this crunch sound on the Rocker 15. Now you don't have as much headroom as you do on the 32, but what you lack in wattage, you make up for in a really nice clipping that just continues that classic orange tradition. it my friends that is the orange rocker series of amplifiers the ultimate in a compact pedal platform for the modern guitar player that can also get you the classic orange crunch we know and love if you want more information on this in the rest of the orange amps line you can visit your local guitar center or visit guitarcenter.com